So I was standing here with my friend Ron, I, and I, he was sitting on the wrong side of his camper, and I said, did you see the uh, sunset? He said, I do now, and look yes. at that. Beautiful orange. Woo. Gorgeous. Arizona sunsets, baby. You can't beat them. Not at all. I feel like we're having a moment right now. We are. Just finished our last show in Sonoida for a little while now, and we head to Mexico tomorrow with our friend Richard, and we're gonna caravan down, and then we're meeting up with Mountain Beaches and life uninterrupted down there, and then another couple we don't know yet. So it's exciting. We're excited to get to Mexico, away from the desert, onto the ocean, and then we come back to Sonoida in about a week and a half. Um, for more shows before we play with Roger Klein and the Peacemakers at the end of this month and head north to uh, New Mexico, Colorado, and Minnesota for shows. Busy, 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 but good. So it's exciting stuff. Very excited to uh, get back on the road and can't sit still for very long. Here we go. Stopped in, sorry for the dinging, stopped in uh, outside of Tucson at the pilot to dump our tanks. Noticed that we had a pump company coming out when we were in Sonoida, and I don't know if that pump truck got us completely pumped out because we can only go about seven days before we filled up again. Normally it can go about 12 to 14. So not sure what's going on, but it'd be interesting to see when we dump manually, i.e. at a gas station, if it, uh, stays longer so we'll find out there she is hey, hey excited to go to mexico yeah it's really loud here it's yeah. weird to be out of the boondocks and into the city it must be richard <laughs> no it isn't richard's traveling with us there he is plus the uh connection oh mine does that sometimes too my yeah. tpms so it takes a while to get it to lock in Mine hasn't locked in yet since we left. Oh. It's not picking up anything. Yeah, mine mine didn't show all of them. It's still lining up. Mm. Yeah, the front. What? <laughs> is it, this is why we add subtitles for Richard. Because <laughs> it's like, what? I'll go in front, so if I get a flat tire, okay. you, can, yeah, then you, I can, can, you can scream. <laughs> right, that I could catch the retread flying back at me. Thank you for that. Uh, Appreciate you. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How nice is it when you're in an area that has so many RVs and people RVing that you have an RV fueling station? Look at that. Cars over there, RVs over there, and semis way over there. Now that's nice. Taking a little break on the side of the road, waiting, waiting for Richard. I don't know how he got so far back there. Well, it's a windy day, he's going slow. He oh, no, we're not gonna use that excuse. He has a bumper pull and it's kind of blowing around, he said. Yeah, so. and he's Scottish. That might have something to do with it. I thought he was English. Well, yeah, it could be. 
but one of the two. That's probably why he's driving so slow. He's probably driving on the wrong side of the road right now. <laughs> and you're just seeing cars bombing for the ditches. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Could be. All right, you working? I am working. I figured I better get some of this done before we get into Mexico and the RV park where we're staying because apparently they don't have the best um, internet. So. Hmm. All right, see. here he comes. Oh, good. So we're at the border and we just crossed into Mexico and gave the border patrol our passports and then he asked us to open our house. So Dave went back there with keys and opened up the RV. So I have no idea what they're doing in there, but Hopefully all is well. I mean, it should be. We have nothing do we, to hide. Do we go up there then and walk <laughs> so. Oh, it sounds like he must have said that he could go through because now he's back. And there's our friend Richard. All right, step two was to go into the office with our tourist visas. And we had to bring our tourist visa that we had printed off online, our passports, and then the receipt for payment. So we got in there, we brought everything and they said, oh, you have to pay here. And I said, no, we paid online. And they said, oh, well, we need to see that receipt, which I thought was funny because you cannot print your tourist visa off until you have put your payment in. And only then will it allow you to print out the tourist card or the tourist visa. So I thought that was a little interesting. We were wondering if they were trying to get a little bit of uh, extra money. Um, it was 633 pesos, which equaled $33 and uh, I think 18 cents. So we're through. Now we're just waiting for our friend Richard uh, because he has to go do the same thing. So we thought we would stay with his rig and we had him stay with ours while we went in. So one step closer to uh, being with our friends in the RV park in uh, Rocky Point. So we're happy. Nice guy. Very cool guy. And luckily we are not coming into the US or leaving Mexico, I should say, because this line is two and a half hours long from what some people were telling one us. Mile, continue on to K Francisco Eusebio Kino. It just goes on and on and on. That's insane. What do you think about that? Reminds me of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> yes, it does. It's a little nutty. Gonna stop at the Roger kilometers. Roger Klein? The Roger Klein, 13th kilometer. All right, let's go take a look. We stopped off at kilometer 13 going into Mexico, which is the Roger Klein, the peacemakers. Kilometer 13, and uh, people put stickers and leave things, and we're gonna see what it looks like.
Welcome to another Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. So today I wanted to ask you why you want to get healthy, if you do. And I would highly recommend that. So my clients come to me with a variety of reasons. They want to increase their energy so that they can play with their kids or their grandkids. They want to reduce inflammation and joint pain. Maybe they have a special event coming up and they just want to be more confident fitting into that, you know, outfit for a wedding or a graduation. So what I would say, figure out what your reason is, write it down, put it somewhere where you're going to see it every single day, and think about that reason with every decision that you make. Now you're not going to be perfect, but the more you think about the reason and the why, the more you're going to see results. So write down that goal, figure it out, write it down. And that's been another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. So I want to talk about this real quick. Um, when we rolled in here, we were backed up a little bit so the slides were almost touching, as you can see here. So Jacqueline had us pull up a little bit so we wouldn't click sides or slides. And uh, one thing that I didn't consider was our sewer hose. And our sewer hose, when I went to dump today, is about two and a half feet short. And the hoses that they have here at the park are kind of these real cheap. Um, the connectors don't work with our connectors. So if I kept going with that, we'd have an adapter to an adapter to an adapter. I'd probably never use that hose again. So what we're gonna do is just reconnect the uh, camper to the truck and back up two and a half feet. Kind of a pain, but it's a lot easier than potentially spilling black water all over the ground and gray water all over the ground. So we're gonna do that. So the tip of the day, before you unhook your truck from your rig or, or set up your rig, make sure that your sewer hose fits or reaches and make sure that your power cord reaches. We're a little bit out of practice on this because we don't stay in RV parks very often. And uh, at a dump station, we can either just pull up or, or back up or go forward. So tip of the day, make sure all of your cords and hoses reach before you set up camp. Par for the course, Jacqueline and I didn't realize that this is Easter weekend in Mexico and uh, it is getting crazy around here. All these razor side-by-sides are coming in, these massive vehicles, these massive campers, and it is getting nutty around here. So we're feeling the, uh, the, the shock from going boondocking to all of a sudden being in this RV park where it is, I mean, you can see right here how close it is. See behind me. And I'm sure by the end of the day, this spot will be taken as well. Somebody's just parking there for now. But the upside is uh, there's a beach within a 30 second walk. So once you're on the beach, you don't really notice that you're uh, in a tight RV park. But right now with all of the commotion going on, we're just both kind of losing our minds, um, but it'll be good. We'll go to the beach and uh, here for another week and back to boondocking. So I was just talking about the sewer hose issue. So yeah. let's go from sewer hoses to cooking. Seems like the uh, good transition. Right, did you get that figured out? Uh, we're just gonna have to back up. Okay. This is the way it is. I mean, it's, yeah. by the time we get that. done spending $40 on sewer connections that up, up for a cheap hose that we'll probably never use, mm -hmm. might as well just hook up the truck and back up and be done. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. We're making some Clara do what is it? De huevo? Yeah, eggs. Egg whites. Egg whites. It's really hard to go shopping. It's really hard to figure out what to get. And I'm, I was putting everything in Google Translate. <laughs> so I think we got the things that we wanted. Pretty close anyway. Yeah, you never know until you open the package <laughs> and start pouring. Right. So just making some broccoli and cheese egg white omelets. Mm. Mm hmm. I know. Uh, but it is kind of nice to be in your own home and be able to just go to the grocery store and get what you want and not have to eat out every day because there are a lot of really yummy foods out at the restaurant that uh, aren't super good for your waistline or your arteries. <laughs> So we're trying to stay as healthy as we can while still partaking in some of the fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some sort of cheese. 
You know how to use one of these? <laughs> no. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You gotta point it up. We'll do satellites. Okay. Um, this is the one that we shot the video for in Joshua Tree. So this is a song paying homage to all the bands I grew up listening to from Minnesota. It's about life just goes and you can't sit and dwell on the past. You have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. The satellites oh, take 77. <laughs> Be they sang it to me. Pull me into the sea. Setting me up for a place that I come from. Burn turned down his eyes. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing and please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as soon as we have more episodes coming out. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and go ahead and place a comment below because we like to know what you're thinking and we hope to see you out here. We'll see you out here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up behind you guys. Watch out. Did you have fun? It was a nice dinner. It was amazing. Yes. I loved it. And the sunset was beautiful. Did you get some good shots of that? Yeah. Good. I did. <laughs> when we yes. eat dinner, do we eat at our U shaped dinner table? No, as you. Is this? Or. Uh, that, that. Can I answer? Okay. Or are you just. So when we eat. So when we eat dinner, do we eat at a U-shaped uh, dining table, or where do we eat? That was very slurry. You might want to redo. Well, we don't eat at the dinette because that's where we work. So as you can see, we have computers and things plugged in, and this nice little flower that this little boy made for me today on the beach, and it's made out of some kind of leaf, and uh, he gave that to me, which I thought was really sweet, which is more than. You did. That's actually how I got you to go out with me as I made you one of those myself. No. And you didn't even buy me a rose when they came around selling roses. I'm sure I like the, the line of questioning. <laughs> Anyhow, so we eat at our ottoman at our couch and watch TV. Looks good. Mm. We need to eat. Like, let's oh, go. Let's eat. <laughs>